hello and welcome to my page guys like omg like i got a word for you guys ha <laughs> anyway so no i was just sitting here and i was doing another video on um just getting back into my healthy routine again and how i went five steps forward and 10 steps backwards you know on the health journey anyways i was just doing a little video and about that and stuff but anyways and so the lord got me thinking and um on uh to share with you guys and so welcome to all you beautiful men all you beautiful women okay this word is for both of y'all okay um and so during my journey i just want to share like in this relationship with the lord um are we um uh it's so beautiful connecting with God in this relationship and having this relationship. Uh, I just share this because in my relationship and in, in this journey, um, are we allowing others to validate, um, who you are, you know? And so I see this, um, uh, how can I say this? How can I, how did you put that up before? One second, let me gather my thoughts. Um, Lord spirit. I say this because having this relationship with the Lord, um, and walking in this journey, you know, um, and with him and just you and him, he teaches you a value, you know? And so as I'm, I've been walking in my journey and, um, and since I came to the Lord in 2010 and stuff like that, um, and, and investing and in what you put into a relationship is what you get out of it. So if you're like, hi, God, by God, that's all you get. But investing in this relationship it allows you to to allow him to tell you who you are you know go on dates with him you know spend time with him um and through this journey with this relationship with the lord he allows you to give you validation of who you are in him and 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 not to go in this world validating uh for these women or men you know that are in the world that are, don't have a relationship with the lord or even um people that maybe in churches don't have a relationship and they're you know having this you know, worldly version of Christianity and having sex and, you know, and all this stuff. And are you getting your validation from this man or this woman? Or are you allowing the Lord to speak into your life and tell you how beautiful you are? Tell you the details, why he created you for, you know what I mean? And and, and are you allowing him to feed you and, and do this process and this journey, you guys? Um, he shows you who you are and the, and who, why he created you and love you and you don't need that validation. And so he prepares you for that person, that man or that woman that he's preparing for you as well on their journey. You know what I mean? And so, um, I just say this because like you always say, uh, I always hear, you know, be a wife before your wife, be a, be a, a kingdoms, uh, be a husband before you're a husband. You know what I mean? And and when you're learning to walk in that role, you know what I mean? And it, it, God prepares you. And when it's time, you're doing your work, right? And they're doing their work. And guess what? When it's time, it's like, boom. You know what I mean? And it's like, and when you get there, it's like so beautiful. Because in this relationship, you guys, you get there and you're so confident in Christ and who you are because of that relationship you built with him. He told you who you are already. He made you validated already. He validated you, you know, and said, checked and approved with a stamp on it. Okay, you guys. And through this relationship and journey, you guys, it's so beautiful. And um, you don't need another person to validate you or these sexual relationships that are causing you soul ties on your life. You know, you're, you're, you're getting their demons as you are having sex outside of union, you know, um, and these relationships that the carnal world Christian relationships, you know, um, you're, you're grabbing these people's soul ties, their demons, and they're attaching to your souls. Get what I'm saying? So now you have all their demons they're dealing with in their life attached to you while you are giving, you know, your body to someone else's spouse or someone else's wife. You know what I mean? Or someone else's husband. You know what I mean? Put the role where it fits. But And we just try to go into uh, these relationships trying to seek validation when that validation comes from Christ, you guys. And I know this, I've been on my journey for a while and he's released me coming from my past. I did. And the brokenness, that's all I'm talking. I'll we'll get there. I came from a past like that. You know what I mean? I came from a brokenness, but I didn't know until I entered this relationship and he taught me and he rebuilt that, that purity in, my, in me now. You know what I mean? He rebuilt that beauty and just the confidence in who I am and the sexiness and about me. Like it's deep. You know what I mean? Like for your men, the confidence, he builds that confidence you need for that woman. He builds that for you. That's what this relationship is for. It's to connect with him. 
So he could show you who you are and who you need to be for that woman. And for women to stop giving these men your bodies. You're beautiful. And God wants to show that to you in this relationship. Every detail of your life. Why he created you for. Whom he created you for when you get that healing in your life. In this relationship. It's so important. And I've been on my journey for a while. And I just love him so much. That it's hard to compare a mountain to God. I mean to my father. I'm serious. It's that beautiful. How much he just makes you. Like I feel right now. As I'm speaking this word. He's just. I'm, and my tears in my pure heart. And just validating me. And telling me. And I just feel so beautiful. You know. And it radiates out of you. And to others. And especially to that man he has for you. He's going to see that glow. He's going to see that beauty. And he's like, I want what she has. There's something she has. Whether it's your spiritual walk. Your confidence in Christ. Who you're becoming. You're speaking to that man. Or you're speaking to that woman. Gentlemen. Gentlemen. Are you future queens? I like to speak life over people. So you future kings, okay? Put your crown on. Start acting like a king. Start acting like you want to treat that woman. Start walking into that. How do you want to treat that woman you meet? Woman, how do you want that man to treat you? Enter into this relationship with God and let him teach you. Move away from the men. Move away from that dating scene. And allow him to treat you the way you deserve to be. And he will align you with that person. And when it's time, that person that he's already ordained to you in heaven sent you down here. He's going to go boom. And you guys are good. It's going to be so beautiful. Because you got in your healing. And she's done her part in her healing. And you guys both know who you are. And you're coming together. And you're just like glowing. And it's just beautiful. It's the process. It's part of how he made it, you know. Don't give away yourself. Let God show you who you are. And how valuable you are. And no price. No price tag could be put on that, you guys. You're so beautiful. There's no price tag on you, okay? And your worth and your value goes up in this relationship with him. Because your confidence, you're glowing. You're knowing who you are. Allow that alone time with him. Don't go and, to, and you know, keep going into these relationships that don't serve you well. Until God puts that together. Until you allow God in your life and this alone time and to go in and do the work in your heart and those wounds you have that cause you to go out in these toxic, you know, relationships, giving your body away, giving your soul away. Because I guarantee you there's a woman out there or a man out there waiting for you and preparing for you. And are you preparing for them? Are you having integrity behind the scenes and be loyal to her if that's what you want? Are you being loyal to that woman as well? Are you being loyal to that man? What do you want in your life? You got to start preparing. You got to start walking into that, you guys. And I guarantee you when you're walking into that and you are being obedient to the Lord, he's going to give you the best. Oh, I feel the spirit right now. Thank you, Lord. He's going to give you the best. I love my transforming. He gave me a new beginning. I become a whole new woman, you guys. A woman that I never thought in a million years how amazing I am. And my worth is so rich. And it's beautiful. And when you're sitting here, he's just throwing these thoughts and you're just crying. And you're, you're alone. And whether you're going out to dinner that night and you get dressed up and Jesus is like, here, let's go here. And he, uh, you know, and gets through reservations and you go and sit and he's speaking to you. The spirit's speaking to you. How beautiful. And you're dressing up. Get your heels on, girl. Get your best suit on, guys. Okay, men, you kings and you queens, get your best outfit on and go. I'm guarantee you that man's going to make you feel. He's going to give you, he's going to speak to your spirit. And it's, it's a continual thing. And he's going to remove those things, those hurts, those pains, those things that are causing you to, to run. The, the, the enemy is using in your life to cause you to run towards the kingdom of darkness and not the kingdom of heaven in your life. He'll give you the peace, the joy, the understanding. And you become that woman, you become that king or that queen. 
He's going to draw that to you because you're making a stand. And if you, people, people in the world, you know, the universe is going to draw you. You know what I mean? But God, I'm a believer and God will give you that man or that woman. But are you walking? He's not going to give it to you and you're not walking into that. He's, you're going to go and get these toxic relationships these, you know, like uh, sexual one night stands or whatever it is the world's doing right now. And you're killing your soul. As you do that, as you give your body away, you're killing your soul one by one by one. And it's taken longer to do God's will because you're sucked in all these soul ties on you. Anyways, I just wanted to share this word, you guys. I want to say you are beautiful. You kings out there, you queens you are beautiful. Own who you are. Own like this little pimple I have right here. Own it, okay? Uh, Kurt, like the Kardashians say. <laughs> Just kidding. Own who you are. Look at my, scr my cat scratched me too. She likes to get on when I'm sleeping and sit on my head and then go like this with her paws. And I'm like, oh, <laughs> like stop. Literally, look at you guys. I get scratches for her. Anyways, I love her. She's spoiled. But anyways, so I just want to share that word, you guys, and say God bless you. I love you, all you kings in the making, all you queens in the making. I speak that over you, okay? Be the goddess and be the king you're called to be, okay? And don't allow that in your life. Enter into this beautiful relationship with the Lord and seek him. Invest in him. Like I said, I go on dates, I go on movies, I go on runs, I go on walks, I go on trips, I, you know, cook with him. I am, and he speaks and fills me and fills those holes. I come from a long journey of healing, you guys, in this relationship, and he's transformed my life. So I just want to show that and say, God bless you guys. Have a great day or great night. And yeah, and yeah, I'm about to put a movie on or read. And um, spend some more time with Jesus. Okay. Anyway, so I just want to say God bless you guys. This girl. Happy girl is very happy. And feeling very loved. Right now, the Holy Spirit is just like hug, 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 hug. I'm serious. As I was speaking this word to you guys, he was like. Whoosh, 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 whoosh. Trust me. It's to be the best relationship, you men. He's going to teach you how to be a man. You you queen, queens, he's going to teach you how to be a queen. And you kings, he's going to teach you how to be a king for that woman, okay? And you're going to collide. And you're going to produce an empire together, okay? Don't you want an empire? Don't you want to build with that person? Produce little ones for to spread that gene? And, you're, and to produce, you know what I mean? Like... You can build an empire with that person. It's beautiful. Man, I, I'm not going to go there, but I have this vision. And I'm just like, the Lord gave me. And I'm just like, yeah, I'm owning up to that. I'm like, yes, sir. Whatever you want, sir. <laughs> I listened to him and I'm excited, you guys. So just want to share that word and say, God bless you guys. Have a good night. Hope this feeds your soul. And yes, I'm sending lots of love to you guys. God believes in you. Jesus believes in you, okay? Stop giving away those free, those blessings that are for union, okay? Stop giving away. Stop giving away those goodies, okay? Stop it and save it. Put, let go of that, so you'll, those soul ties, okay? So he can prepare you for that queen or that king he has for you, okay? And it's going to be the best, you guys. God bless you. Love you guys. Sending lots of love your way. Have a great night. Bye.